Later this decade, NASA will launch its Da Vinci mission to Venus. The probe will help answer elusive questions. Did Venus once harbor oceans? Was it habitable? Did it host alien life? And what exactly is happening on its surface? Recently, mysterious flashing lights have been seen on Venus that scientists initially thought were from lightning, but may actually be something else entirely. This and another unexpected discovery on Venus could be a potential game changer in our search for extraterrestrial life. If you ask anyone whether life exists on other planets and moons, the answer you'll probably get is a confident yes. Going back generations, we've been introduced to a wide range of extraterrestrials, good, bad and evil. Their presence makes up a large part of our entertainment and culture, and us Earthlings seem to have an unfounded belief that we are not alone in the universe. While no clear signs of life have ever been detected, the possibility of extraterrestrial biology, the scientific logic that supports it has grown. Despite the strange and scorching conditions, Venus shares a surprising number of features with Earth. New research has suggested that flashes of light detected during missions to Venus may not be lightning strikes, but instead could be tens of thousands of meteors burning up in its ultra-hot atmosphere. Missions conducted by Europe, the US, and the former Soviet Union all detected signals believed to be lightning. Subsequent missions like NASA's Cassini probe, however, searched for but failed to find any radio signals from lightning that indicated presence of life. While this discovery doesn't point towards aliens, another discovery does. And that is phosphine gas that was just found on Venus. Phosphine is considered to be a biosignature. A biosignature is any substance that provides scientific evidence of past or present life. On Earth, phosphine is produced by certain types of bacteria. This discovery was unexpected and a potential game changer. What makes the discovery of phosphine in Venus air so compelling is that the researchers have racked their brains trying to come up with ways to explain it without bringing up the term alien life. Nonetheless, they remain cautious. But Venusian life, could it even exist under such hellish conditions? For decades, scientists assumed Venus was a sterile hell and largely ignored it in favor of Mars or several of the water-rich moons of Jupiter and Saturn. But not all scientists. Planetary astronomer David Grinspoon, of the Planetary Science Institute, has persistently championed the idea of paying great attention to Venus. He pointed out that at 30 miles above the surface, the cloud temperatures drop to roughly the same as on a fall day in New York. The idea that some alien life could be floating in these extraordinarily dense and temperate clouds isn't so outrageous then. Such organisms could be the leftovers from simple life that may have been spawned during the billions of years that Venus had oceans. Or they would be the microscopic survivors from a world that slowly burned. Many simulations of Venus evolution predicted it had an ocean for some two or three billion years. That's a lot of time for life to evolve. Through all the chaos, one message remains clear. We have to know Venus, but what do I know? Beyond the Blue.